guys, welcome to today's video. Today is all about this lovely map right behind me. I found this map on the street in New York City quite a while ago, like pre-virus, and it's been sitting in my design room ready to be updated and implemented into my home decor. I love how this turned out. I love the painting technique that I used. I love how the little coppery topper paint I put on there came out, and I love this frame. I made it out of some scrap stockade fencing that I had, just kind of laying in the backyard. If you don't happen to have any stockade fencing on hand, that is A-OK. -okay. You can use 1x4s. 1x4s would look really great. You can use some old pallet wood. That would be really cool. You can use pretty much any scrap wood you got laying around. Get creative and let me know how it goes. And I love that it is map of the world. It kind of reminds me that we are all in this together and we will get through this. Trust me, we will get through this. I know it's really, really hard right now, but we will get through it. Please feel free to subscribe and ring that little notification bell if you want to be updated every time I make a new video on home decor, home renovations, DIYs, thrift flips, and just generally like creative stuff. All right, let's get to it. Here is the map that I will be painting. What I might do first is go in with a calligraphy marker and kind of outline where the black is gonna go. That might make it a little bit easier for me when I go to paint. We'll be using this Mars black acrylic paint. You can use whatever black paint you have on hand. And then I will be using just some acrylic titanium white paint. And then this stuff. This stuff is amazing. It's kind of this like bronzy, like putty paint. I'll show you in a little bit. It's so cool. And I've done so many projects with this. I got this at Michael's. I love this stuff. And then you'll just need a little tray. Hopefully yours is like not as crusty as mine, but you know, we are gonna work with what we got. I'm going with a little flat one. I think that will help me get to some of the edges. This is after just one coat. We're gonna let it dry and then go in with the second coat. Australia has two coats. Just a little tester. To give the painting this textured effect, I'm not using any water to dilute my paint. It's almost like a dry brushing effect. I'm also laying down the paint pretty thick and going back and forth in cross hatching kind of motions. And this will give the surface a raised area for the bronze textured cream paint to adhere to. Go in with this. I'm just going to use my finger and kind of go over the countries. Okay, so my map is done. Now we have to go make a frame for it. All right, so the dimensions of this board is 36 by 24. I will be securing the frame around the corners and then gluing it down to the front. So I'm gonna go a little bit 
bigger than 36 by 24 because I kind of want there to be a little bit of an overhang. So they are attached at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. So you're gonna have to use some care when taking these up, but you can do it. I'm gonna be marking my side and this post on that exact corner, and then that will give me the width and the depth of to where I need to go for my other ones. Okay, so I know this is not the proper way to make a frame, but this is what we're working with and this is how I'm doing it. This axe is just a weight right now. So I lined up this corner to the very furthest corner of my map. Come over here. So I'm just gonna lay this scrap piece right where I want this to end. And then I will come down and mark this board right here because I already have my miter cut over there. I'm gonna come over and mark it right here so I know to cut this angle on this piece of wood right here. Now that I have these two corners done, I can just copy this piece and put it up there and then we can mark how long we want those ends to be. So this is the bottom piece that was right there. Now I already cut 45 on this side. So you can either line it up perfectly and then mark right here or you can take your tape measure and measure this top edge and then transfer that measurement to your bottom piece and then that will be where you need to make your cut. One, two, three sides done. This is the top piece that we made from copying this bottom piece. So we're gonna place that top piece where we want the frame to stop and then mark along here and then over there and we should have a square frame. All right, that worked. Yay! I think I'm gonna put the frame together first with these, and then I'll be able to properly center it and then glue it down, clamp it, and then I'll put some more reinforcement screws on the back through the board to the wood. So these are two and a half inch flat corner braces that I'm going to put on all of the corners to keep this together. Now, these are the screws that come with them. These are way too long. If I screwed through this fence post, they would stick out to the other side and they would hurt you and it would not look good. So you are going to need some little itty bitty baby screws, the times used for picture hanging and hardware. So the frame is built in all in one piece. Now I just match up this little corner here and then that is where it's going to go. So I'm going to take this up, put some glue around the edge of the map, put the frame back on and weight it down and then we're going to let that dry. I've let this set for 24 hours and I came back and this side over here wasn't fully adhered. So I put some E6000 glue in there then put another four by four on top so that can dry. Now, these are sticky things that were on here. I just put a little paper towel over the stickier one so it didn't stick to my table that I was working on. I just wanna put a little bit more reinforcement on these corners. So I'm gonna take my staple gun and then go in and put like two staples here just to kind of help secure it. For a little extra support, I'm gonna put a couple of washers and a screw on the midpoints of all the sides, just like I did here, just to adhere this board to the wood. Now I'm using the washers because the screws I have are just a little bit too long. They will poke out to the front. So I'm going to kind of adjust the depth by using washers. I'm gonna use two and then a screw and then it shouldn't poke through the front. If you got shorter screws, you wouldn't have to use the washers, but this is what I have on hand, so this is what I'm going to use. You could also pre-drill a little pilot hole if you'd like. 
If we lift it up and check the front side, it is not poking through. In order to hang this, I will be using these little teeth kind of picture hangers. Now I stole this off of a photo frame that had four. There was two across the top and two across the side. So I took the two that are on the side and then we are going to place these up here so we can hang it. So for placement of these, just make sure that you measure down the same distance from the very top on both sides. So when you're marking on your wall, you can make a level line and then these will sit level. On this side, I measured an inch and a half down from the top. Over here is an inch and a half down. I'm just going to line this up, mark for my little holes, and then with the tiniest, tiniest drill bit, make two little tiny pilot holes right in your pencil marks. To attach these screws, I just like to do it by hand with a screwdriver instead of the drill. I feel like you get a little bit more control that way. Look at that sparkle. Look at that sparkle. Whoa, okay. She's cute. And she's pretty. And she's copper. Just like a penny. That was good. Thank you guys for creating with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.